Tonight for supper, I'm going to be fixing some thin pork chops, some sweet peas, some yeast rolls, and some mashed potatoes. If you've been here before, you know I love me some mashed potatoes. So I'm just going to fry my pork chops. I'm just pouring a little bit of vegetable oil in my skillet. Then I'll just add a little bit of plant butter and I'll let that heat up for a minute. And while my skillet's heating up, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my peas ready. I'm just using a can of Great Value Sweet Peas and all I do is add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a spoonful of my plant butter, and then Whenever it gets closer to where my other things are almost done cooking, I'm just going to pop this in the microwave and heat it up for about a minute or two minutes until it's all heated. Now that is heated up in my skillet, so I'm just going to take my pork chops and I'm going to lay it in there. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some Lowry's lemon pepper seasoning on them. This is our favorite. I'm also gonna sprinkle um, on a couple other pork chops here in a little bit. I'm gonna be using a different seasoning that I have bought that's new to try it and see how we like it. So I'll just sprinkle this on this side and then I'll flip them over here in a few minutes and uh, put some more seasoning on the other side. And I just covered my pork chops and I'll let them cook for a couple of minutes. And my mashed potatoes are cooking. It's now been a couple minutes, so I'm going to flip them over. And then I will season the other side with some more lemon pepper. Then I'll just cover them and let them cook a little bit longer. So these pork chops are done. They are now golden brown. I'm just going to remove them from my skillet. And then here in a second, I'll put the other pork chops in. Now I'm just going to add my other pork chops. And now I'm going to try using this seasoning and see how well we like it on our pork chop. I'll just cover them up and let them cook for a few minutes on each side like I did the other ones. And here's my plate. It's all done. This meal was absolutely delicious and I have to say the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse seasoning was my favorite on these pork chops. And this has been by far my favorite meal that I have fixed for my family this week. Tonight for dinner, I wanted kind of an easy night. We've had a lot going on today. So I picked up this famous red bag chicken from Aldi. I've been seeing so many good things about this chicken, so I really wanted to try it. And I got these market side brioche buns and we'll just make a sandwich out of it. And some Nathan's fridge fries and I'll just fix those in the air fryer. So I'll just fix the chicken according to the package directions. And so I've just preheated my oven to 400 degrees to cook it for 20 minutes on each side. So that's what we're going to do. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried this chicken and what you think of it.
I totally forgot to spray my aluminum foil with some nonstick spray before I put the chicken on and cooked it. So I'm having a little bit of a difficult time trying to flip it over. It wants to stick. So make sure if you make these to spray your aluminum foil. Don't be like me. I've tried to tell y'all I ain't no professional, but I really do try my hardest. And then I'm just going to put my french fries in my Ninja Foodie Air Fryer. And I've got the temperature set on 375 degrees. And I'm just putting them in there for about 15 minutes. And every few minutes I just take my spatula and kind of scoot them around a little bit. And that way they don't get burnt. And in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and get my chicken sandwich ready. I'm going to slap me some of my Duke's mayonnaise on there. And y'all, don't judge me, but I love dipping my french fries in mayonnaise and ketchup mixed. So I'm just going to squirt me a little bit of ketchup, a spoonful of mayonnaise, and my mini Pioneer Woman dip bowl. Mix that up. And yes, it's so good. Don't diss it until you try it, y'all. My chicken is done, so I'm just going to remove that from the oven, and my french fries are done as well now I'm just gonna put my chicken on my brioche bun yes I know I'm plain I don't like a lot of toppings on mine just mayonnaise but you all can put whatever toppings you all like on yours and here is my plate we did like this chicken pretty good I think I would probably give it four out of five stars and that's it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it and I hope it gave you a couple of new meal ideas to try for your family. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye!